Hi, Dr. Marcia Sirota here in my series on moving into springtime with good self-care. And today I want to talk about kindness and some of our misconceptions about what it means to be kind. Now, some people think that being kind is doing everything for everybody else and not thinking about yourself. But that's not kindness. That's what I call being nice, being a people pleaser, you know, really sacrificing your own needs and feelings for the sake of making everyone happy. And generally, when people do that, it's because they want to make other people happy so that the people will love them and validate them and approve of them. And so it's more of a transactional kind of interaction where I'm going to be nice to you and then maybe you will love me and approve of me. Whereas kind people are kind because it's in their value system to be kind. They want to be that kind of a person. They want to be giving and kind and caring and generous and altruistic but they also love themselves. So the nice person is looking outside themselves for love and approval, whereas the kind person loves themselves already. And so when they're doing for others, it's because it's what they want to do in the world, the kind of person that they want to be. So an example of being kind as opposed to being nice is being able to say no to somebody when it doesn't work for you. So if the person says, you know, I'd like to go out with you and you know, go for a socially distance walk, I miss you. And, you know, maybe you don't feel comfortable with that person because you know that they are not taking the kinds of precautions that are at the level that you're taking. And you say, you say to them, no, I'm sorry, I'm not comfortable going for a walk, you know, right now. It's just not what I want to do. And that person might be disappointed, they might be upset. However, you are taking care of yourself. And so you're not being unkind, un unkind. you're not being um, but you're not being nice, right? You're, you're being a person who takes care of yourself as much as you are there for others. Another example of being kind versus nice is if your partner is an active alcoholic and they're abusing alcohol, you're not gonna go to the liquor store and buy them alcohol you know, when they're asking you to do that. And you're also not going to tidy them up perhaps after they're falling down on the floor drunk and making a mess. Maybe it seems cruel, but if you keep depriving your alcoholic partner of the consequences of their drinking behavior, they never get to learn from their mistakes. And if they do have a bad night where they're lying on the floor and, you know, on the cold, cold hard floor because they fell down drunk and then they wake up and they feel terrible, maybe that will be enough for them to realize, wow, I've hit rock bottom. If you keep making it too easy for them, they never get to do that and maybe they will never change. Another example of being kind versus nice is let's say you have a friend or a family member who mistreats you and you're thinking maybe I don't want to spend time with this person and they call you up and they say you know I really want to have more contact with you and you know every time you have contact with them it hurts you. Now this person might be lonely and maybe they've alienated everyone else in their life because of their bad behavior. Well, you don't owe them anything. You don't have to be that one person who spends time with them because they're lonely. Maybe they're lonely because they deserve to be lonely because they've been mistreating everyone and that's the natural consequence of their behavior. And a kind person does not deprive another one of the consequences of their actions. So if you are kind, you can say, so sorry, it just doesn't work for me. If you're nice, of course, you're going to go running and sacrifice your own happiness and your own needs for this other person, because maybe then they'll give you approval, you know, this approval that you think will make you happy. But what you have to understand as well is being nice doesn't make you happy. It actually makes you resentful because you know that you're doing things that you don't really want to do for these other people. And you know that you're sacrificing all your own needs and feelings, and you never quite feel validated enough or loved enough. And the reason is because they don't see you. They don't love you. They like what you're doing for them. It's a transactional relationship, as I said. So they like the thing you're giving them, but they don't actually see who you are because you're not being authentic, because you're not doing what works for you. You're doing what you think they want so that maybe they'll give you some love and approval. Whereas the kind person does what they want to do because it's authentically, genuinely who they are and how they feel. And so if the person loves them, it's because they are loving the real person. And so kind people actually are loved for who they are. And nice people don't get the love they need. So the paradox is the more you try to please people, the less happy you are. And the more you are simply kind with good boundaries, 
the happier you're going to be and the more authentic and meaningful your relationships will be. And also, if you are loving yourself, then you're not doing your actions in a transactional way and in, in, in the hopes of getting something in return. You're doing what you're doing because it's what feels right. And so you are much more aligned with your own values and you feel more whole and more authentic. And plus you get a lot of joy out of giving, whereas the nice person gets a lot of resentment out of giving because it's not really what they want to do. So it's not cruel when you're a kind person to say no. Saying no is self-care. And by the way, the people who call you cruel or selfish or hurtful are people who have an agenda, who want to control you or mistreat you, and they want you to do what's not right for you to serve their purposes. You know, people use guilting and shaming and blaming and attacking to manipulate and control others, and you cannot buy into it. And if you're kind and you know that you're doing things out of the goodness of your heart, then it's easier to say no when it doesn't feel right because you should not ever be there for others, you know, when it has to be a sacrifice of your own welfare and happiness. You know, you should not have to give to others if it hurts you to do so. And you should not have to be with people who don't make you feel happy and fulfilled. And if they tell you that you're a selfish person for that, that's just their attempts to control you and manipulate you through trying to make you feel bad about yourself. You don't have to feel bad about yourself if somebody doesn't like what you do, because not everyone is going to, and life is not a popularity contest. You're not there to make everybody like you. You're there to be your best version of yourself, the most authentic, loving, and generous person, I'm sorry, loving and genuine person, but not necessarily the nicest person, because nice people aren't loved for who they are, and they're not happy, whereas kind people do get loved for who they are, and they're much happier. And if somebody doesn't like you, if they resent you for saying no, for setting boundaries, for giving a person a consequence that's appropriate, well, that's an unreasonable person. And actually, they've just shown you who they are. And this is a person who's never going to allow you to just do what works for you. They will always give you a hard time if you take care of yourself. And that's a good sign to maybe walk away from that relationship. So being kind does not mean pleasing people. It does not mean doing what they want but it means having an open heart and being loving and caring and giving, but never at your own expense. Finding that balance is truly what kindness is, loving yourself and loving others, caring about yourself, caring about others. And also sometimes it means walking away, sometimes it means allowing the person to have the consequence of their actions. And sometimes it means being a little bit tough and saying, no, no, that doesn't work for me, even if you're not happy with it. And also being kind means tolerating when the person is angry at you or disappointed with you. Because if you love yourself enough, then it doesn't matter if the other person isn't loving you in the moment. I'm Dr. Marcia Sirota. Please stay tuned for more videos in my series on moving into the next season, which is spring with good self-care. Please keep your hearts open, stay kind. I'll talk to you soon.